At Taiaroa Head, the albatross nest now holds a precious cargo. Working in shifts, the couple never leaves the egg unattended. Royal albatross have one of the longest incubation periods of all birds, about 11 weeks. And that time is almost up. Incubation is a subtle art especially on Taiaroa Head. The climate here is warmer than at most albatross colonies, and his egg runs the risk of overheating. The male rolls the egg over to even out the temperature. A brand new albatross chick sees the world for the very first time. But cracking the eggshell is hard work, even with the help of a special egg tooth on the tip of its beak. The father does not assist. It's nature's way of weeding out the weak. Late in the day, the hole in the egg isn't much bigger than it was in the morning. If the chick doesn't manage to break free, its life will be over before it begins. The albatross female returns from fishing. Finally, she gets a glimpse, a tiny female hatchling. Even though it's the first time they've met, the chick may well recognize the mother's call from while she was still inside the shell. The enormous beak, powerful enough to crush crustaceans and overpower squid, becomes a grooming tool of the utmost delicacy. But there's little time for bonding. The amount of food the chick will need is enormous. The male immediately heads off on the next fishing expedition. <laughs> <laughs> 